If you want to learn about a simple way that you can keep inventory of all of your items in your Poshmark closet, stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body tendons by your neck. All they really want. Hey everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. My name is Becky Park. You can find me on Becky Park on Poshmark on Instagram. And my Poshmark closet, in case you wanted to check that out, is Becky Park. Um, today I am recording a highly requested video and that is my inventory system. Um, as many of you know, I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark and Mercari apps and I don't have a lot of time to invest in a really detailed inventory system and so I'm going to show you today just a really quick bare bones um, version of how you can keep track of your inventory but still do it in a way that you're organized and you're not spending hours upon hours looking for items. I know I've been there and so um, I finally over the months have developed a system that works for me and so I'm going to share what I do with you in hopes that it could be helpful for you to figure out your own system. Maybe you'll just take bits and pieces of what I do and combine it with some um, with what some other resellers do. I hope that this is going to be helpful to you. Um, by the way, I am recording on my phone, so if the quality is a little less than what you're used to, that is why. But let's go ahead and get started. So why is it important to have an inventory system? If you're anything like me, when I first started out selling on Poshmark, I got really overzealous with my thrifting, and the clothes that I was thrifting was spilling out into, like, our entire house. My daughter's room had a wall with just like piles of clothes that would topple over and she'd be like, I can't open the window because my clothes were in the way. Um, my son's room, like his closet has been filled with Poshmark clothes and then eventually it spilled out into the playroom. So there were just clothes everywhere and literally when something sold, I would spend sometimes an hour looking through all three different locations, trying to find this one piece of clothing. And again, they were just kind of like piled high and sometimes my husband would just get so frustrated that he would move one pile you know, to another place. And so even though in my head it was kind of this organized mess and I thought I knew where everything was, I really didn't, especially if things got moved around. And so when I would sell items back in the day, sometimes it would take me an hour or two to do my shipping because it just took me so long to even find items. And now when I do my shipping, I actually just timed myself the other day. I had four orders to ship and um, it took me 16 minutes from beginning to end. That's from printing my Dymo label, that's you know pulling the item, that's writing the thank you letters, because I do still handwrite all of my thank you cards. Um, and from putting it in the tissue paper, putting the package in the envelope or in the box or whatever, from beginning to end it took 16 minutes for four items, and that's still kind of long for some people. I'm not pre-packaging anything, and so it does take me some time to do the tissue paper and the ribbon and all that kind of stuff, but 16 minutes, that's four minutes an item. That is amazing compared to the hours that I would spend sometimes on one item because I couldn't find it. If you find yourself struggling because it just takes you forever to find your items, you do need some sort of simple inventory system, even if you have less than 600 items, even if you have less than 100 items, it's still gonna help you save on time. Comment below and let me know what kind of system you're using right now because I bet I could learn a thing or two from you as well. I drew a lot of inspiration for my current inventory system from the Queen of Thrift and I will link her channel down below and I will also um, you know, link the video in which she talks about her inventory system. I also have a video in which I show kind of how I use my inventory system day to day and that I will show right here. Um, I'll have a link to that right here. Um, and it's my vlog, just kind of a day in the life of a part-time reseller. But as you can see behind me, I do have a bunch of these bins. And I got these bins, they're the Sterilite bins, and they are the 56 quart or 53 liter, I think that that's what it stands for. But I just get them at um, Target, and I think they are $5 each. Sometimes they have sales, and you can get them for even cheaper than that. Um, they do come with lids, but I keep the lids off because I, help, I feel like that actually helps me speed up my process when I am pulling items to not have to take the lids off and put them on every time. And also, when I have inventory bagged up, new inventory that needs to go inside of the bins, it's a lot easier to just throw them in than it would be for me to have to take the lids off and put them back on and all that kind of stuff. So um, 
as far as what I have is I have a bunch of these bins from Target. This rack that they're on right now is from, I want to say Home Depot, and I will link that down below in the description as well. Um, my husband found it on sale. It was a cinch to put together. My sister-in-law actually bought it for their playroom and they have all of their daughter's toys on it and she assembled it by herself. I don't really know how she did that, but um, it required like two or three of us, but we were able to assemble it pr pretty quickly and I like it because you can adjust the shelves however you want. Those are the supplies that I have. And then as far as how I actually do my inventory, I'm going to show you my spreadsheet in a second, but Essentially what I do is I have a bunch of these sandwich bags and these are the gallon size bags and what I do is I have a spreadsheet with numbers one through however many and I have a bag that corresponds with the number on my spreadsheet. So for example on the spreadsheet I have a number that is 192. This is bag 192 and right now inside of it I have a J. Crew Mercantile that's like the brand new J. Crew factory. It doesn't exist anymore, but this is the J. Crew Mercantile. It's like a ruffle sweater. It's a size small. And so what I do is in my spreadsheet under 192, I put the description and I try to make the description match what I have on um, my Poshmark closet as much as possible. So I'm pretty sure like in my Poshmark closet, this is listed J. Crew Mercantile camel color wool blend sweater something like that so I'll try to make the description as close to that as possible and then um, I take the item I fold it up nicely I put it in my Ziploc bag and then this box right here I don't know if you can see it let me get you closer is for items 176 through 200 and as you can see I just reused a little piece of paper there and wrote the numbers with the crayon one day I'm gonna go through and make all these bins look really nice. I'm not there yet. I don't care about how the numbers look so it's gonna look the way that it looks for now and that's fine. But that way I know that this bag lives inside of this bin and I only have 25 items in each bin so when it comes time to pull items it's not that hard to go through and find one item amongst 25. Um, organizing my inventory in this way has helped me find my items much quicker, thus helping the shipping and packaging process go much faster. So I believe that's all I need to really show you for my bins and I can kind of give you a closer look at how everything looks. So if you can see, I'm going to zoom out here, you can see my bins and they go up pretty high. There's four rows and it's kind of messy over here but you can see there are more over here. I think that's all you need to know about this system back here and then also by the way when I pull an item and no longer need that bag I just throw the bag inside of this box and that's my box of all of my unused bags and so when I go through and I do inventory and I am going to put new items in new bags I just reuse the bags over and over again so again this like 192 there was a different piece of clothing in here before this J. Crew Mercantile sweater and after this J. Crew Mercantile sweater sells I'll put something else in here and that way I can reuse the bags over and over again. I know that a lot of other resellers have inventory systems where they are packaging up their items once they put it in their inventory system and they don't really touch it again until it sells and their items go out in those plastic bags that they put in their bins and that's great. I just feel like that's not as cost efficient or as practical for me. I like that I get to keep reusing these gallon size bags over and over again rather than I obviously I'm not gonna like when I ship this out I'm not gonna ship it out in this bag. Um, I've received items that I've bought from shoppers before shoppers sellers before where it's in the plastic bag and it has the inventory number on it still and that's fine. I just don't want to keep you know, rewriting or reprinting inventory labels. I know some people buy inventory numbers too. Again, I don't want to spend money on that, so I'm okay with the system that I have right now. And I have roughly like 500 items in my inventory system at the moment. I do have over 600 active listings on my closet, and that's because I do have some items that need to be hung, like big jackets or really fragile or, um, not fragile, fragile is the wrong word. I can never think of words when I need to for these videos. Items that are, I have items that are delicate, that's the word. Items that are more delicate, things with a lot of heavy beading or sequins, I keep those hanging in a closet. 
Um, and then I also have shoes and purses and stuff like that in another area and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so this is not as organized, but you can see inside of a closet that I have in my playroom, I have yet another shelf unit. This is something that we got a long time ago and I don't remember where it's from, but um, I do have some items that are just kind of folded and thrown up here. Those are some jackets and sweaters and whatnot. I have shoes um, here. I have some shifting supplies, some more shoes. This is not as organized. I need to organize it a little bit more but it gives you a general idea of kind of where I'm putting more of my hard good type items that are not clothing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the spreadsheet that I use to keep track of what I have in my Poshmark closet, what bag it's inside of, what bin it's inside of, um, and before I do, I just wanted to explain that you're gonna see that my spreadsheet is so bare bones, especially if you look at some of the other inventory workbooks and things that other resellers are working with, and that's because I have to decide how I want to use my time when it comes to my reselling business, especially because I am part-time. I don't care, honestly, to put in information in my Excel sheet regarding things like when I bought the item or how much I bought the item for or how much I sold it for. I just, I don't have the time to put that information in. And I have a general idea in my head of how much I spent on things. And so I know that I don't need to put all of that information in. Maybe if I were to go full time at some point with this, that is something that I would do. And I think that full time resellers who do keep track of all of those, you know, pieces of data, I think that they are able to make more educated decisions going into you know sourcing or when they are looking at an offer that someone is sending them you know they're able to see am I really making a profit off of this but I think that because even though I have a lot of items in my closet I have a general idea of how much I spent on each thing I know how much I need to sell each item for to make a profit so I don't care to have all of that information in my spreadsheet there are a lot of other resellers though that have a lot of great resources as well as inventory workbooks and tools that you can purchase or even download for free. So I would definitely check them out if you are in need of something more detailed than what I'm about to show you. But again, this is, you know, the system that I use, it works perfectly for me as a part-time reseller, as someone who doesn't want to spend a lot of time in front of her computer, you know, putting in all of this information. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little disclaimer about that. Here is my spreadsheet and as you can see I have two columns and in my first column are the different numbers and these numbers correspond to the different bags that I showed you earlier and then this column corresponds with the items that are inside of each bag and it's really easy because when I am trying to pull items so when something sells and I need to pull it so that I can ship it I will make sure that things are organized in alphabetical order by the brand name and as you can see I always put the brand name first I have a ton of American Eagle in my closet um, and that way like if I'm looking for the J Crew mercantile sweater that we were looking at earlier I'm just gonna scroll until I can find J Crew mercantile there it is and as you can see that is in bag 192 um, and then on the flip side, if I am doing inventory and I'm trying to put new items in bags that are no longer being used, what I'll do is I'll click on column A, I will go to, you can do this a couple different ways, and I am by no means an Excel wizard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on column A, and I'm going to click this little button here, and that is going to put everything in number order, and so now I can see like once I sell you know, item 192, for example, I can just go in and let's say in its place, I am now going to put, I don't know, a pair of American Eagle shorts or something. So now I can just get rid of J. Crew Mercantile Camel Ruffle Sweater, size small. I can write an American Eagle, you know, shorts or whatever. And now that has taken its place. And as you can see, somebody has commented on another YouTube video. Thank you, Fancy Bird Resale. That's a random shout out to you. Um, so that's how my Excel sheet looks. It's so super simple. Obviously, I could have a lot more information in here, but this is all I need for the time being, and I'm happy with it. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube video on my inventory system. If you want to learn a little bit more about how to utilize Poshmark as a 
very legitimate side hustle and make a good chunk of change doing it. I do have a video here that you can check out with 10 tips on how to make at least $10,000 on the Poshmark app in one year as a part-time reseller like I did in my first year reselling. And I also have this video here on seven productivity hacks on how to utilize every minute that you are investing into your business. So thanks again for visiting my YouTube channel. Please make sure that you hit the subscribe button or you can even hit that little bell to make sure that you're notified every time I put up some new content here on my YouTube channel. Make sure that you also follow me on Instagram because I share a lot of my daily reselling tips and just kind of my journey, my daily journey as a reseller over there. And again, my Instagram is Becky Park on Poshmark. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.